Hello. So in this video, the topic is on um, sexuality and masturbation. I've done videos here and there covering the point and on the EQAF interviews that the portal does or did on this topic um, covered it well. So what I'm doing is just really going right to the point directly for doing short video on, on what that means and this is very directly summarizing the points. So the way that human beings have approached sex and sexuality is through, the, is through their minds. If you observe a child a child will go to a point, at least for me as a male, and I'm sure it's the same for a female in many ways, but a child will get to a point where through their mind, their mind's on its own, starts creating thoughts, creating the images, creating the, the triggers to get you to feel something. And through time you associate that as yourself, as Oh, this is what I want, or this is what I think, or this is what I believe. And what holds it in place is how it feels good. So, for example, you have thoughts, images, or dreams of sexual situations, and you think that this is what you desire because in the dream, or images, or thoughts, you see the thing, you have a reaction, a feeling. Uh, for men, it's erections. You get a feeling and it feels good. You feel the stimulation from the images that's in your own mind. Or also in in media and TVs and images and things you see. And that stimulates you. And then that's how you approach sex. Both within masturbation with yourself but also with actual sex with another person. It's done from a point of the mind. Not from a point of who you are here as your body. So that is the way that is the way it's been done and that is how it's serving the enslavement of who we are because then it reinforces our mind. It reinforces our enslavement and not really expressing ourselves and being a creator in the moment through self-expression we become like like a signal, a trigger, a simple mechanical thing that simply responds to situations instead of being a creator of the moment. Now the way that it should be or it's going to be the point that we have to evolve to is the point where it's something that's pure physical movement, expression and awareness where you're really fully aware of your physical environment, your physical body, and how it actually feels. When you live that way, when you express that way, and you have a high level of sensitivity, you're really experiencing living through the body. And so when you actually engage within touching yourself or actually having sex with someone else, it's all about the physical touch, like the graze of your hand on their hand the graze of your hand on your body and it's something that you live and enjoy and experience because you're living and enjoying experiencing the body the physical reality and you're not stimulating yourself through your mind it's not about the situation it's not about the ideas it's not about the story it's not about what's going on in your thoughts it's about what's actually physically experiencing feeling the moment. So you could have a situation where someone let's say is seducing you or is whatever like the image of it or the idea of it or what they're doing or flirting with you. That doesn't have to move you whatsoever. It's not about that. It's about the physical expression of yourself so you start, you initiate the point within yourself. You live it, you experience it. 
just in the same way like no one else can like touch you and make you feel a certain way it has to be through yourself you can decide you have the power to your expression it's you here within your body and if humanity changes and evolves in that way and lives that way then this whole constructs of porn and of of even how we approach relationships, how we per approach flirt flirting, how the monetization of of sexu sexuality. You have all these people online, women who are selling their bodies, selling their images, because they can make money off of men who want to see that online. You have so many layers and levels in our society that basically places it so it continues enslavement of who we are through the mind as what we believe who we are and prevents us from talking about and living self-expression and in so doing create a community create the growth create the support where this becomes natural because if you look at a child it is where we naturally go to the physical living the physical expression it's there but we have our layers of programming that reinforces the images. We have our media, we have our things we consume, things that is out there, what we give as examples of, as adults, as people. That simply reinforces the mind. So what happens if we actually show the way, guide, and reinforce what is best? This physical way, this physical living, to actually fight the mind properly by actually supporting, by actually confronting, by actually being direct and saying, like, here, what's going on. So that is how we're going to change things. This is a short video, only eight minutes, just covering the basic points. I'm going to keep doing these kinds of videos. To just have the information there clear of what we're doing and why and how it works.